<laughs> fight? Yes, I did say fight. Mm -hmm. Metaphorically. Because there's one going on on the left, yes, on the political left. Sure, sure is. Well, Maxine Waters was in L.A. She, she was at a rally over the weekend, and she was shouting into the crowd, and uh, people were there supporting her. The liberals were supporting her. She's pushing for the public to go out and harass individuals mm. that work for President Trump. Like what we saw with Sarah Huckabee Sanders, she got asked to leave that restaurant by the manager, Christian Nielsen. She's the Homeland Security Secretary. She was at a Mexican restaurant and asked to leave or was heckled at the restaurant. Sarah Huckabee Sanders was there with her family. Yeah. Listen to what Maxine Waters said about it. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. No peace, no sleep. And guess what? We're going to win this battle. God is on our side. On the side of the children, on the side of what's right. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. What if that member of the administration is in a car with their kids at a gasoline station sure. or they're out to eat? Sarah Huckabee Sanders was out with her family over the weekend and the red hen of Lexington, Virginia, the owner, came out and asked her to leave. Sarah Huckabee Sanders did. Uh, the red hen is uh, in the midst of a cultural firestorm. I yep. think that's safe to say there uh, all sorts of people are blowing them up on Yelp and whatnot. They think it was inappropriate that uh, she would be asked to leave because of her affiliation with the president. And the president himself sent out a tweet this morning that will not help business. It says the Red Hen restaurant should focus more on cleaning its filthy canopies, doors and windows, badly needs a paint job, rather than refusing to serve a fine person like Sarah Huckabee Sanders. I always had a rule. If a restaurant is dirty on the outside, it is dirty on the inside. <laughs> it's a good rule. And if you look at the pictures, it probably does need a paint job. But there's another thing that caught my eye on the outside of the Red Hen. Look at a sign that they have had posted before Sarah Huckabee Sanders was there. It says, love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. The height of hypocrisy looks like is not transforming that enemy into a friend is right? what they did to Sarah Huckabee Sanders and her family by saying, get out. If you want to transform this country, have right. that conversation. Right. If you want to resist, you kick people out of a private business. And if that's you're going to exactly preach love. Then you got to live love. And Sarah Great Huckabee point. Sanders saw that sign and she probably thought this is safe. We can go in here. This seems like a love lovely restaurant right. with a nice message. They go in and the, the owner said she took a poll of everyone who works for her and they decided that they were going to kick her out of the restaurant. She's giving them money and that's how she treats her, the people that are eating there. And you said she has the right to do that because it's her business. It's private business. She can do that. But, but they're going to pay the, you know, they're going to pay probably the metaphorical price for it. Oh, you well, watch. Forget about just the Yelp uh, reviews and forget about what the president right just tweeted out. But then you've got uh, members of Congress who have said they should have let her eat. And then you've got the Washington Post in the Washington that says they should should have let her eat. This was a lie. Let the Trump team eat in peace. And David Axelrod as well said, uh, now we're divided by red plates and blue plates. Yeah. So ultimately, David Axelrod, Obama administration. Right. Good for him. And a lot of people feel like uh, members of ICE who enforce our immigration laws in this country should be allowed to do 